Hi, it's Dr. Betts here, and welcome back to Chemistry 1032 instructional videos. I am here to talk about section or chapter 3.6, shapes, basically molecular shapes. The only three you have to worry yourself about are the top three. The other two are important, but not we're not going to talk about them, but they are important. So let's learn the first three, and here's what you look for um, when you want to try to figure out what kind of shape you have. Four single bonds. If a central atom has four single bonds and no lone pairs, you are tetrahedral. Tetrahedral. T-E-T-R-A-H-E-D-R-A-L. Tetrahedral. Um, think of a tripod with a camera on it. That's kind of a tetrahedral shape. I'll uh, bring the models to class with me and let you take a look at them so you can kind of have a hands-on uh, feel of them. I tried showing them on the webcam. It, it just doesn't work. You can't really see them with the models I have. Um, I'll have to get better models one day, I suppose. The next one, you have three single bonds and one lone pair. You are what they call pyramid, uh, pyramidal or pyramidal, depending on where you're from. Um, it literally looks like a tripod with no camera on it. That's exactly what it looks like. That's a pyramidal shape. Okay. Next, two single bonds and two lone pairs. And that shape is Honestly, it's bent. I can't, you know, tetrahedral, pyramidal, and bent. <laughs> it's kind of a weird word, uh, considering the other two are kind of fancy words. And then bent. So uh, that's how it is, guys. So there you go. Anyway, short video. All it is is about shapes. There's three little shapes you got to know. Short video, short and sweet to the point, but also important. So make sure you can uh, distinguish these shapes and recognize these shapes and predict shapes if asked, especially on a quiz. All right, we'll see you in the next video.